So I was asked to do about <clears throat> a video about the view of the Eastern Orthodox Church toward the Apocalypse of John. One, it's, yeah, it's in our canon, but it's the only work of the New Testament that's not read in the liturgy. It's not read in church. You'll never hear it. Um, because there was so much dispute about who it was. The Eastern Orthodox Church, John died in Ephesus, right? And the Apocalypse of John is was mainly big in the West. So when people brought it over to Magna Gracchia, you know, uh, and I mean that in a very poor way, just Anatolia and Greece, not necessarily Sicily or North Africa. Um, Anatolia and Greece, they said, we know what John wrote. John didn't write this. It was very ambiguous uh, who wrote it, who is John of Patmos. But um, <clears throat> it wasn't, there was nothing heretical in it. Uh, the Apocalypse of John, the Apocalypse of Peter were both fairly popular and both disputed. Um, there was a time when the Shepherd of Hermas uh, was far more popular than the Apocalypse of John. Actually, for the first three centuries, the Shepherd of Hermas was a lot more popular. But what's the Eastern Orthodox view in about preterism? Well, the Eastern Orthodox take the view that uh, it is the liturgy, that the the um, what's being talked about in the Apocalypse is the liturgy of all these uh, of all this imagery, and then it's cycling back to the beginning. Uh, you see the bowl of wrath pouring out, and then all of a sudden you're back at the crucifixion. Um, there is very telling things in there towards the Theotokos. She is displayed as the Ark of the Covenant in the Apocalypse of John as well as she is in, uh, in Luke, in the first chapter of Luke. But to say that doesn't mean that there's not other interpretations. The Eastern Orthodox Church prides, its, or not prides itself, but it's just a fact that there can be more than one interpretation on a piece of scripture. Now, this doesn't affect doctrine or dogma because the doctrines and dogmas, while scripture backs them up, don't necessarily come directly from scripture because the church comes from the church and scripture comes from the church. So they were, <clears throat> they, they don't conflict or uh, contradict each other. That's why you can always use the scriptures to back up doctrine or dogma. But the Apocalypse of John really doesn't have much to say about that. Yeah, it affirms Christ as God and his fullness of deity, but so does every work of the New Testament, basically. But yeah, it's uh, when asking what the Eastern Orthodox view of this scripture or that scripture, this verse or that verse, you'll get... A manifold of you know of interpretations none of them being wrong well you can't you like change that there can be actually wrong interpretations but the idea of only there only being one right interpretation is pretty foreign to the eastern way of thinking to the orthodox view of things even something as, uh, as solid as the crucifixion, where you'll have, in the West, denominations will take a hard and fast stand, and this is the one view. The Eastern Orthodox, readily available, I can think of five views of the crucifixion and, and what happened, and they're all correct. So with the Apocalypse of John, it's kind of like that. Uh... I can go into various interpretations on the Apocalypse of John, but it's not going to be in this five-minute video right here. All right, peace to you. Thank you for the question. It's st The Apocalypse is still canonical, but it's not read in the Orthodox Church. The reason why it's not, it's because it was never read. It's It was heavily disputed and kind of just, just made it in. And probably made it in only because of the West's the how much the West liked it. 
Um, all right. Uh, preterism, yeah, it's... I, I can see that and that the uh, Eastern Orthodox do hold, I guess it would be recognized as preterism. To a, to an extent, though, but I think everybody accepts that some of the apocalypse already took place. There are some Orthodox that believe the thousand-year reign of Christ was Constantinople, was, you know, um, Theodosius to the fall, or Theodosius to right before the fall, um, or Constantine to that, or that the thousand years was symbolic in that because of the church it got to continue until the far, fall of the the czar in Russia in the uh, early 20th century. All right, peace to you.